Hey guys, okay, so I'm back to film a uh, Dear Diary vlog. Don't know why I blanked then. Um, this is Tuesday the 2nd of <laughs> Tuesday the 2nd of alcohol. Uh, Tuesday the 2nd of April. Dear Diary, sorry about my last en oh, entry's abrupt ending. I think I may have either gotten distracted and ran off or gone and had a nap. I can't remember much of what happened then. I was cutting with Martin on Sunday. I had forgotten how good it felt. I don't think I'll relapse on that, but it was nice. <laughs> Today is Taco Tuesday with Martin, and he wants me to stay at his place tonight too. I don't know whether he's told his supposed girlfriend what he told me. Only one way to find out. And I spoke to Dad yesterday. He's healthy, and he doesn't want that girl staying with him anymore. He's paying for my flights, which is good. Only problem is he wants me to stay, me and George to stay at his place. Um, obviously I was going down to Sydney and this is when my dad had a girl living with him in my bedroom and I was a little bit very hurt over this. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, um, but he told me that he didn't want her staying with him anymore and that he would pay for my flights to go down and visit, but he wanted me and George to stay at his place. Okay, back to topic. Uh, Len said he isn't mad at me, but I'm still pretty sure I hurt his feelings. This is about things that I can't tell you about, um, which sucks because I think I like him. Then again, he wants me to be his caretaker Thursday night at the party, so surely he doesn't hate me. Um, obviously there's a party coming up. Nothing planned for today, so some cleaning and working out may get done. Having no internet is indeed annoying. The mold problem in my room is getting on my nerves. I can smell it when I go to sleep now. As soon as we get internet, I'm going to email Vic, the owner of the house, and let him know. And I get paid tomorrow. <laughs> Can't wait. Hopefully I can get some good organic food and start eating better. I also need to get some wow time for when I go down to Sydney. Wouldn't be the same if me and Gigi, that's what I call my brother, uh, didn't play wow the whole time. Now it's time for exercise. Love, Kate. And then... 19 days later, Sunday the 21st of April. Uh, okay. Whew. It's been, it's probably been a ridiculous amount of time since I've written in, so most of what I will be mentioning will probably make little to no sense because I don't know how much of, ba how much backstory to give. Len has been on the scene for almost a month and I'm pretty sure we are semi-officially mm. together. We now both know we like each other and that we want to make us work. Mainly because I did another one of my stupid drunken meaningfuls, which is where I get drunk and say too much. I really have to find a way not to do that, but I'm almost sure he doesn't mind because he's still here and he still likes me. Tomorrow after work I'm going over and making him my dad's creamy chicken special. Um, then Tuesday morning we're hanging out. <laughs> I was supposed to be on the Gold Coast for my modelling induction this weekend, but it's been postponed to the 4th and 5th of May, so I just got the weekend off, which is good. Len has already gotten me my birthday present and has asked that I leave the 16th of May free for him. To that I said happily, I really like him. Good thing, bad thing, who cares, it's just a thing. I probably should be doing something for YouTube right now, but fuck it. I have Tuesday off for that, and I'm beginning to feel sick. I may just go through my old pre-recorded stuff and see if it's worthy of upload, because I technically could do that today. Time for some green tea now, then laundry. Whatever. Okay, I might read another one, because I don't remember this one. Oh boy. Okay, let's see who watches these. <laughs> Thursday the 25th of April. Dear Diary, Happy Anzac Day. And then I've got a question mark in brackets. I've done nothing all day and have been in the weirdest state of ADHD. I got sick in an hour yesterday because I decided to take the preventative measure and get cough syrup. Gotta get worse before you get better. I remember that because I was at work and I was feeling sick and I was like, no, let's go get some cough syrup. And of course I'm getting sick when I tell this story. So let's go get some cough syrup so I don't get sick. And then in an hour I completely lost my voice and could not stand up straight. So, 
So today I have successfully done nothing at all. I sit down, stand up, walk around, sit down again. Uh, I start a survey, open Facebook, close Facebook, do some of the survey, open Facebook again. Get on YouTube, get off YouTube, check the fridge, decide not to eat, check the fridge again. I'm just really distracted and all I want to do is rest so I can get better. And this I decided was because of the cough syrup that I was taking. In other news, I put a photo of me and Len on the city cat as my home screen, and I'm glad I did. I really fucking like him. Trying to explain it to Candace, who was my psychologist, was hard yesterday because she kept saying why whenever I said it's really good. In short, I think it's really good to have someone like me, especially one that is such a positive influence on me and knows exactly who they are and what they want in everything. I also find it comforting that I like him after so long of hating all people and denying love. The fact that I want a relationship with him is amazing. It makes me feel that there's something good about him for me. And at least I know that we're genuine and that what we have is something I want. I'm not forcing it or faking it. I actually like him and he actually likes me. Other than that, I'm getting excited to see him Saturday after I finish work, meeting at his uni, driving back to his for drinks, and then going to see one of his friends live at the Elephant. And another exciting event coming up is my birthday. Len has my present ready and we're spending the 16th together for that. Then my party on the 18th with about 20 people coming. Yay! Um, in case you're wondering, people never show up to my parties and 20 people did not show up to my party. I, yeah. <sighs> And the invite went to about 70, so there is potential. Tia isn't feeling so good lately. I really hope she starts seeing some good pendulums soon. I'm opening for one of my jobs tomorrow, and can I just say that I'm absolutely sick and tired of work texts. I got one from my manager today asking what the password should be, and another saying that she figured it out. Dipstick. But seeing as I'm opening tomorrow, I probably should sleep soon, even though I'm only getting one five-hour shift next week, and apparently my manager was calling me a drugged-up whore, more or less, when I left sick a couple of weeks ago. I was sick, and that's all she needs to know. I don't... <laughs> I don't give a shit if I've looked as sick as I felt. You don't go saying anything. <laughs> Sorry, she made it nicely on my ultra-short hate list. Good on her. Off I go now. Don't want to do anything. Fuck. Love, Kate. Hmm. Well, um, I have a feeling these are going to be kind of tricky for me to do. <laughs> and I always kind of knew they would be, but this is my life, you guys. And... Now you know a little bit more about me and some of the things that I've gone through. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, they are going to be kind of tricky for me to read for the next couple of... Uh, they're, they're probably all going to be tricky for me to read. Um, but that's how it goes. So... I love you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. Um, it's now 5.30, sun is setting, you probably noticed by the fact that the sun set. Um, and now I'm going to go to edit this and go see. But, anyways. I love you guys. Bye.